Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel. Keep pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Greg Nagato, also known as the big cat. My cool cat, pause up. If you're rocking with the big cat, breaking news, breaking news. The Carolina Panthers actually signed a position of need. Tremaine Johnson from the uh, unemployment line comes over to the Carolina Panthers. How do I feel about it? We'll talk about it before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Baby, do you like Black Lives Matter? Black Black if you love the Carolina Panthers, like I love the Carolina Panthers, give me that two gloves. Tremaine Johnson could be a sneaky good pick, or is he? Man, we'll talk about it. Let's get into it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to check out Fan and Fan Network tomorrow at 11 o'clock Sunday preview. 32 fan ambassadors giving it up the real from a fan perspective. Also follow them on YouTube at FTFN and also uh, Fan and Fan Network on Twitch. Be sure to check out KeepPoundTVShow.com. That's my website. Copy you some merchandise, read you some articles, and blase blase. Now, with that being said, breaking news, breaking news. Carolina Panthers signed a position in the leading card. Adam Schefter, Tremaine Johnson will be signed to the practice squad. Now, how do you guys should feel about it? You should be, yeah. Are you? I mean, let me slow down. When I think of Tremaine Johnson, I think of Eli Apple 2.0. Um, a guy who's good. He's good in the run. You know, solid tackler. A great goddamn tackler, um, very versatile. He's, he can play man coverage. He can play press, co press, man press. He can play zone coverage. Very versatile. But it seems like he could be a shell of himself. I don't know. It's too early to tell. I never seen somebody be so defamed and demean. Well, I, again, he was in the New York market, but the, the New York market tore his ass apart. When, um, you know, he didn't produce like on the level they thought he was. Um, one thing you're going to know about him is throughout his career, he had to have a good supporting cast for him to ball out. Um, he played with LaMarcus Joyner, Atib Khalib, uh, Marcus Peters, and he had one of his best seasons. Also in 2018, he played with our own Justin Burris and um, also Maurice Claiborne and Jamal Adams in the safety. So... It seemed like he, he had seven interceptions that year. It seems like he really he's really effective when you got somebody else on the other side of him that can ball out or somebody in that same secondary. So, again, high high reward. High reward here. I'm not going to say he's a bust just yet. I'm not going to say it's a bad signing. I think if he can live up to the hype that he once was, yeah. I mean, it was so bad in New York that people were questioning this man's heart to play football. They cut. They, <laughs> the papers had wrote up articles saying that he stole money. That's how bad he was playing. And um, on top of that, well, let, let's just look into the numbers. We're, we're, we're gonna keep going. Let's, let's keep going. If you look at your screen right here, 2019 numbers according to ProFootballFocus.com: 23 tackles, one in this, uh, interceptions, 25 targets, 19 receptions allowed. Now, one thing you're gonna see is he only played in seven games in 2019 due to an ankle injury. We'll talk about that here in just a second. If you look down again, overall grade for 2019 in seven games. Now, just in seven games, he had a 53 seven, uh, in seven game overall grade. Pass rush, 56.3. Run defense. Again, this is why I say he reminds me of Eli Apple. He's not afraid to come up and hit and make a secure tackle. 73.4. And overall coverage in seven games, he graded out with a 50. All right. Let's move on to his... Uh, Total stats, 23 tackles again, one assist and one interception. When targeted, when targeted, he gave up an average passer rating of 103.8, 13.2 yards. He was targeted 25 times, and he gave up over 103.8 in rating allowed to the quarterback. Now, if you continue, we're going to look at his numbers. Um far as his career, his season's great. If you look at it from 2012 to 2019, <clears throat> one thing that really stands out is he's a, he's a solid tackler as of late. 
early in his career, it seems like he struggled. But 2019, 2018, 2017, he has been in the top 70s, you know what I mean, when it comes to securing tackle. Last year, again, top 70 when it comes to run defense. Not afraid to come up there and hit, stop the run. In 2018, he was an 82 in run defense. Um, and overall defense in uh, 2018, he graded out a 74.9. All right. So let's see. Um, when you look at his coverage rating from 2019 to 2012 to 2019, again, last year, probably his worst. <laughs> this is what they were talking about when um, they were saying that he was a he didn't live up to it. You know what I mean? So 2019, 2018, when he was with the with the uh, Jets, he graded out at 75.1 in 2018. Again, he had Claiborne, Jamal Adams and uh, Justin Burris in that secondary as well. 2017, one of his best years, he had seven interceptions. He graded out with a 68.8 when it comes to coverage. Overall, had a 73.4 tackle, 75.3 over uh, in run defense. That's what uh, 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 a key to lead Marcus Peters and our uh, uh, joiner back there as well. But overall, when you think of um, my man True Man Johnson, you think of him as a a for sure tackler. You think of him as a guy who's afraid, not afraid to come up and play the run, and he's spotty when it comes to coverage. He's uh, a light period, spotty. You know what I mean? So again, man, if you look at through his career, he he only had one one back to back season, which was 2015 and 2016, where he put together a coverage rating of 70 plus or better. He only did that one time back to back, 15, 2016. And everything else has been kind of up and down. So, you know, if you look at his weekly grades from the 2019 season, again, he played in uh, seven games, eight games, excuse me. You know, uh, what can I say? If you just look on the screen, just look at it. You know what I mean? When it comes to his coverage rating, again, for sure, tackler, solid run defense. But the thing that you're being paid to do, which is cover, it's, it's not that high, man. All in all, he graded as a 50.3 when it comes to coverage rating for um, all, all eight games last year. All right, and last but not least, one thing that really concerns me is my man has had a lot of injuries since 2013, from concussions to knee tears to more concussions to ankle injury, injuries. And also last year, he played in eight games due to ankle injuries. So, you know what I mean? I mean... It's a it's a high it's a high reward low risk. I mean, it's a what's well, a yes yeah, low risk high reward. I think this guy can definitely come in and help out. I like the signing. I actually love the signing. Um, you know what I mean. At this point, I mean Matt Rule has already laid it out on us. We're just trying to set a foundation. But he he kind of reminds me of Eli Apple 2.0. You know what I mean. And um, I had high hopes for Eli Apple this year, so. Not sure if he's coming back or not. What, what's the deal with that? But I don't know, man. It seems like um, this could be a situation where, you know, if, if, if Dante Jackson balls out or, or Jeremy Chin balls out, he could do good. You know what I mean? Once he's up to speed. I really like my man Rod Zool, man. If we can get Rod Zool and Dante to play hard like they've been playing, man, and we can have Chin play hard and Tremaine comes in, I think Tremaine could do some nice things. You know what I mean? Again, his best numbers come when he has played with a good supporting secondary. With Jordan, Taki, Belieb, Marcus Peters, he had Justin Burris, Claiborne, he had Jamal Adams. He puts up numbers when he has good surrounding cast. So if Chin, Razul, and Dante can hold it down, if they can catch fire, maybe somewhere. Listen, I'm not expecting it right now. Look, these first couple weeks, I'm, I'm already, I already got my mind set up. It's going to be kind of lumpy. But somewhere in the middle of the season, if these guys can play consistently good, and then Tremaine Johnson comes up to speed, who knows, man? We might have found a, dumb, a diamond in the rough, man. So I like the signing, necessary signing. It's going to take a little minute. I want to taper you guys' expectations. Um, when he gets up to speed, I think it's going to be worth noting that uh, how he does in coverage. But uh, we definitely got a bona fide tackler, you know what I mean? Bona fide tackler and a, and a run stuffer when it comes to uh, blitzing and coming up and hitting from the from the cornerback spot. But it's going to be definitely worth noting to see how the rest of our surrounding cast play. Good move here. Um, again, you know, low risk. It don't work out here. 
it pays out high reward so um I like it, man. Tell, get in the comments. I'm your host, Grand Guy. To also know the big cat, my cool cat, pause up. If you rock with the big cat, how you feeling? Hey, man. How you feeling, man? Just let me know, okay? Make sure you subscribe to the podcast, Anchor and Spotify, the whole nine. Join me tomorrow on FanTheFanNetwork.com or FTFN on YouTube at 11 o'clock. Going around the horn. Um, also, 8 a.m., 8:30, probably 8:30. Join me here for a pregame show. We're going to talk about Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Are you guys ready? How you feeling? One last time before we get kicked off. And then join me tomorrow night at 9.30 for a post-game recap. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say, Marty Herney! <laughs> I'd like to take the time out to thank Keep Pounding TV membership sponsors below. It is because of supporters like you that we're able to create quality content. Please consider joining the Keep Pounding TV membership by clicking the Join button right above the channel header with three different tiers and packages we have a little something for everybody and affordability make sure you join pause up sure to check out keep pounding tv show.com where we had the latest panthers article exclusive behind the scenes content vlogs videos schedule fantasy football and much more also be sure to check out keep pounding tv's official merchandise where we have pause up hats gato shirts and much more as well I want to give a very special shout out and thanks to all the Keep Pounding TV cool cats and members. Paws up, keep pounding. Fellas, do you have a beer like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Shoshana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Shoshana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Ladies, be sure to check out Tory Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up. You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.